and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these very cute but crazy looking mice. Uh, this one's the one that I'm going to show you how I've done. I've made that one rather tall so uh, I've made another, another one that's a bit shorter so we've got a daddy mouse, a mommy mouse and I'm going to have to make some baby mice to work, go along with these now uh, to represent my children but they're really fun to make just something uh, quick to do and uh, will brighten up your table if you want a little carriage to keep you company. So we're... Uh, Right, so to make your little mouse, um, you're needing to make some eccentric circles. You need two, and these are to create the ears. I've already made one and let it dry. And the eccentric circle is basically a circle where the centre of it is pulled down to one point. Um, but these have got to dry, so I, this is why I'm showing you how to do this one first, so it can be drying while you're getting the rest of your body parts made. I've got a tight coil here made with uh, one full strip of pink and one full strip of grey or whatever colour you're doing your mouse and I'm using my cork board if you've got one that's great if you haven't don't worry you can just loosen your coil and uh, follow along that way so I'm popping it in the largest one on this row and I'm letting the coil uncurl try not to let it jump out there we go and then just pop a little glue on the end of your strip. Zoom in a little bit and you can see better then. Just pop a little bit of glue there and then just slide it in. And just use your needle or something just to make it get it stick and push it against the side. So then if it's not so evenly uncurled just Use your pin and just spin it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull, well I'm going to put my pin into the centre of the uh, circle and I'm going to pull it down to one side and then push the pin into the cork and it keeps it in place. So then what you do, you just take your, your glue and just pop a little over the top It'll dry completely clear, so don't worry about you, you seeing it. You can either just leave it as it is, or just use a paintbrush just to spread it out, and then that can be drying while the, you're doing the rest of your shapes. So to make the body, we're going to need two cone shapes, and I've already stuck these two together, but uh, I've got some to show you how you do them. Now, for the, head, uh, for the body, sorry, I've got two tight coils and these are made of four strips each. So what we're doing with these, um, these ones is we're going to use the cone side of our moulding uh, tool. Uh, if you've got one, if not, you can do it without. Just take your time to pressing it into the shape. So we're wanting them to be about one and a half centimetres, two centimetres tall each of the cones. And I'm just starting off with the top cone the uh, largest one and just slightly pushing it down each time I go to the next one. Now oh, don't go straight to the small one because you want all the uh, layers to uncurl properly. Now you're not wanting a full cone like this so when you get down to about there so if you push down on that one it's just going to push the middle out it's not going to push uh, the, any of the rest of them out so what I suggest is you just do slowly on each side just pushing the bottom out a little and then just try and keep it even and then you can always just put, push it against the side of one of the uh, cones just to make sure that you've got them how you want them to go. See I've pushed, pushed the middle bit out a little too far there so I'm just popping it back in and then once I've done that I'm just going to put some PVA in and spread it out and leave that to dry I'll do the other one Oh, and I forgot to say actually, once you've done this with your cones, you're needing to squeeze them in the middle so they go into more of an oval. As you can see now, it's more of an oval. 
God, I remember to tell you that. I also really want them in the right shape. But yeah, stick a bit more glue in now. And then once they're dry, we can uh, pop them together for the body. So we'll do that one. So depending on how big you want your mouse to be as to how far you go, but I'm just wanting mine to be a nice little one. And then I'm just going to squeeze. And then that's what happens if you squeeze too far. <laughs> Glad you see that. But yeah, luckily I've already got one made on the side of me in true Will Peter style. Don't do that. <laughs> do what I did on the first one. So when... Um, yeah, so you need two of those. You know my husband's going to be laughing at me now. Um, and I've stuck these together with the PVA. Um, if you want a, an instant bond, uh, use a, a glue gun, uh, which I've got for uh, putting the ears and things on. But I did these ones earlier and I've uh, stuck them together. And I've got these the right size and I've not pushed the centre out. I'll have to rewind that other one up. So you do the same process for the head. Um, but the head doesn't want to be too dome light and we're not squeezing it into oval. So I'll just bring my shape back and now we're going to be using the dome size. So just basically doing the same thing but with here. Now the back of the head doesn't want to be as domed as the front. So I'll probably just stick with just that, just ever so slightly coming out. Okay, now I'm throwing my paintbrush around and set that to the side. Now with this one, it's for the front so you want his nose to stick out a little bit further. So if you just on the dolls like that and then if you're wanting a little bit to come out, oop, be ever so gentle, don't do what I did with that thing and push it too far, just push it ever so slightly in the centre on one of the cones. And it will just push that centre piece out for you. See, I can do it without making a mess. There we go. And then you've got the other side of your head. Okay, so the head is made with uh, three strips each and the body is made with four strips each. So I'm just double checking my nose here, I can't remember the, whether if I said what the head was made of. So yeah, you need two domes of three strips for the head and uh, two uh, small cones with four strips each for the body. And then once they're dry, you've stuck your body together like this and my head's rolled away. Oh, there we go. Right, so this little piece now is obviously the nose. So all you need is a quarter strip of pink and what you want to do is you're making a arrow shape or a dart it, it, it's called different things but um, we'll call it an arrow head for now okay make a tight coil and then let it uncurl and just wait till it's stuck and then where the where it's joined just pinch it at the bottom and then push in with your fingernail onto the top and then that's how you make your arrow head and then stick it to the front of your little mouse so then the head needs to attach into the body so obviously it's going to go like this I've got my uh, glue gun just for quickness really because um, you don't want to be sitting here watching me um, but they're uh, just holding it there for PVA to uh, stick it's just a bit more quicker there we go so I'm attached like that and the glue's clear so nobody's uh, really going to take any notice but you could always put a ball around its uh, neck or something if it bothers you so I'm going to pop that to the side so it uh, cools all together then for the arms and the legs they're exactly the same uh, formation for them but we need two teardrops and two uh, bended teardrops okay so but we make them exactly the same way we just bend a couple of them 
so you need one full strip um, to make one of each of them. I've got two sets here that's hard for the one that I was uh, preparing and the one that I'm doing. I'm thinking why have I got eight legs there? But I think it's one of them days it's took me three times to fill this already. <laughs> So this is just one full strip of whatever colour you're doing your mouse. So if you've got your board and going on to the next size down and just creating an open coil. A little dab of glue. I'm using this just so that it's got the same sizings and proportions. So and then just pull that out, pop that away, and then I like to do it where the uh, end is. It's just so that I can uh, pinch it a bit uh, tighter together. Now it's up to you whether if you want to hold your circle to one side or whatever. I'm just holding it there so it looks more like a, a paw. It's got more of the colour there. So and then just pinch it into a teardrop. And then for a bended teardrop, all you're doing is just bending it like this. And those are going to be for the arms. The regular teardrops are going to be for the uh, feet, and then those are the arms. Okay, so we need two of the bended teardrops and two of the regular teardrops. So I think I'll put the uh, arms on first. Well, again, I'm just using uh, my hot glue gun for quickness. And I'm just popping it near the neck. And then I'll get the other one. My plug is uh, rather far away from me, so it's... Uh, if you're wondering why I'm reaching across the screen, it's because the plug doesn't come all the way to me. But, okay. And then this will reinforce your your head as well. Okay. So we've got his little arms on our mouse. And then the feet, we're just going to pop around the side a bit. So I might turn these into a teardrop anyway and then I'll do it like that. Right, sorry, I'm thinking out loud then. So I'm just pop in a double glue on the point of the teardrop and I'm going to sit the mouse on top and then push the foot outwards. I can't really show you properly yet yeah, once it's stuck on when well, the glue's cooled I can uh, show you. So there we go. So that's his little leg. It's got really big um, feet, this mouse, but never mind. It's to help it try and stand up for if you're making it as a decoration for somebody. Again, just stick it on there. And there you've got your little feet. So there. So we're going to take back our eccentric circle that we made. It wants to come out. And then, so this is a shape that we're wanting to create. So what I've done with that is you hold your uh, set, you know, like where you've pulled it to the bottom there, and then just sort of push down on the top but you want the bottom to stay relatively curved but you're wanting to make those two points like that and just get them roughly about the same okay and then we're going to stick our ears on our little mouse So again, I'm just using my glue gun, just put a tiny little dot 
at the bottom where it's going to attach. It's a rather tall mouse this one, I mean my dome's a little bit taller than I have done uh, before but uh, never mind, it can be the daddy mouse. Okay, and then hold that in place. There we go. So there he's got. Oh, wrong way round. He's got his ears, and his nose. It's a very, very tall mouse. <laughs> he's cute anyway. Don't matter. And then for his tail going to create this shape and that's just from a loose coil so again you just need one full strip of whatever colour you're doing your mouse So it don't matter that I've let it go that time because we're going to be letting it uncoil anyway. Okay, so then we're just going to let it go very loosely. And then just pop a little glue at the end. And then you want to try and sort of even out the strips of paper and then you're going to just squish it. Very technical term, squish. Now depending on whether if you want a straight tail or a curved tail is totally up to you. So I'm going to give him a little uh, bended tail. So there we go. And then we're just going to stick him, uh, stick his tail onto his back. So a little bit of glue again. So he's got his tail on his back now. You could have it sticking outwards if you want to, but I just want him to have it that way. Now the next thing is we need some googly eyes. I'm just gonna go find some googly eyes and I'll be back in a second. Right, so I've got his uh, googly eyes ready. I'm just going to use a teeny tiny little bit of uh, hot glue. Don't need much because you don't want it to splurge out from underneath your eye. I can't remember if I've said, but I've used five millimeter strips today, um, and the features are quite chunky. I've used the wider ones so it's easier for you to see what I'm actually doing. Um, but normally for something like this, I'd probably use the um, either two or the three millimeter ones. But I thought they might be a little bit too uh, thin for you to see properly on the screen. So there he's got his googly eyes. I'm just trying to get all the uh, string glue off there. It's our little mouse. Now he's just missing his whiskers. Now all I've done for these is just cut out some really, really thin strips of paper or card. You can just use one of your uh, quilling strips to, um, uh, you know, to create these. Um, so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stick some of these onto his face. But I think I'll, rather than using the um, the glue gun, I'm going to use these ones because uh, you're going to see more of this. Sorry, there's a motor, very noisy motorbike just gone past my house. So uh, if you've heard it, I'm sorry. The joy of uh, filming out in the uh, garden. Oh, I think they're a little bit long, those. I don't want too long the whiskers. where you want them. Looks a little crazy my mouse. Uh, we 
Das wird natürlich sein. Once they get glue's gone a bit tacky, you can uh, tweak them a little bit. It's just when you're first putting them on, it can be uh, a little difficult. But plus, if you still think they're a little bit uh, long, wait till they're fully dry, and then you can trim them. Because these are definitely a little bit long. This is the beauty of um, hot glue, because it dries a lot quicker, but you get the wiggle room with the PVA. So I'm going to leave these two dry and I'll come back to you once I've got all these whiskers on and they're all dry. Right, so his whiskers are all dry and uh, stuck into position now and I've trimmed them down so they're a little bit shorter. I'm uh, pleased with how he's come out, he's a little bit taller than uh, I anticipate when I was making him, but when I finish the other one that I messed up on earlier. I will let make him a little bit shorter. He's definitely going to be the uh, daddy mouse of the uh, group that I do. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed that anyway and uh, you had a good giggle at me messing up. But thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed it, if you could give me a thumbs up, that'd be appreciated. And if you're not subscribed, if you consider subscribing, that would be appreciated too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.